I'm Jake, and I'm here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium checking out the sharks. What's amazing about sharks is that... Uh... What is that? Is that Robert? Robert! Hey, Robert! Robert! It's Robert! Robert! What was that for? You were snoring! Yeah, I was getting some rest. You know how important sleep is. Well, yeah, sleep is great. It helps the body heal and memories can process. Yeah, and, and without sleep, we get tired. Our bodies don't function as well and we become irritable. Okay, okay, that is true. But now is not the time. We need to talk about sharks. Fine. Hey, do you think sharks snore? How does he do that? Science. But wait, that's actually a really good question. Do sharks sleep? Because they're basically always swimming. Yeah, but those sharks are just resting on the bottom. They look like they could be sleeping. Yeah, I guess so. But don't sharks need to keep swimming in order to breathe? Yeah, I've heard that. But look, those sharks are just sitting there and they seem to be okay. Well, what we do know is that sharks, like all fish, depend on moving water across their gills in order to breathe. But gills are really complex. I think we're gonna need to look a little bit closer. Gills are basically filters for oxygen. As water passes over the gills, tiny blood vessels, called capillaries, pull oxygen from the water. The oxygen is then absorbed into the blood and then sent all around the body. The cells use up the oxygen from the blood in order to function. And then the blood is sent back to the capillaries in the gills to pick up more oxygen to start the process again. So water needs to continually pass over the gills for sharks to breathe. As sharks are swimming, water is pushed into their mouths and across their gills. We call this process ram ventilation because they literally ram the water across their gills by swimming forward. But ram breathers, like this great white here, make up fewer than 6% of all the world's sharks. Others, like epaulette sharks, have adapted to use strong muscles to pull water in and across their gills through little holes called spiracles located behind their eyes. All right, so we know most sharks are able to breathe and stay still, but what about sleeping? Good point. Do sharks sleep? Let's ask our aquarium expert, Tierra. Thanks, guys. Well, sharks don't quite sleep like humans do, but if you define sleep as a period of time in which creatures are able to slow down their processes to allow their bodies to rest, then sharks do in fact sleep. What about those sharks that need to keep swimming to breathe? Some scientists actually argue that sharks are able to rest one side of their brain at a time, while others actually think that sharks use their spinal cords to move around rather than their brains. That allows their brains to rest, but they're still able to move about freely in the water. Even though you may see some sharks that are resting on the bottom of the ocean floor, they are entirely aware of their surroundings and are still able to react to both danger and food nearby. Thanks, Tara. So now we know how sharks sleep, but what about other fish? Well, you can't tell a fish is sleeping just by looking to see if it has its eyes closed. In fact, many fish don't even have eyelids, but some fish do have strategies to help them bed down. Let's have our friend Skylar take us through a few of those examples. Thanks, Robert. Different species of fish sleep in different ways. Some species will even find hidden resting places. Blue tangs will wedge themselves into coral to keep from floating away. Wrasse will bury themselves in the sand to keep themselves protected. And the arapaima hovers close to the bottom. It doesn't really hide at all. Thanks, Skylar. It's awesome to see so much activity here at our aquarium. Don't you mean in activity? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but now we know sharks and fish really do sleep, even if they don't sleep exactly like we do. And boy, they sure are missing out. Well, at least they don't snore like you do. Okay. <laughs> no, that actually brings up a really good point we almost forgot. Sharks sleep, but do they snore? Well, how does snoring happen? When you sleep, your tongue and throat relax, becoming kind of floppy. So they vibrate when air moves in and out of the mouth. Well, sharks don't breathe air. Right, and without air, there's no vibration. So sharks don't snore. Bingo! But I will admit this, I am a little bit jealous. Why? Because the sharks are still sleeping. Ugh. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today as we explored, discovered, and learned about sleeping sharks. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And if you have any suggestions for the show, feel free to email us at expedition at thelivingplanet.com. All right, Robert, you can go back to sleep now. Sweet. Oh, okay. See you next time. <laughs> that is